your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. This is a mess. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. Check them out at icydk.blog. This is a mess. So it looked as though the whole Kanye and Kim thing had calmed down. But this whole day started with Kanye with another post about Northwest. All right, Northwest, uh, if you check back my previous video, you can check that video. Northwest was on TikTok. She was doing a video that Kanye didn't agree with. And personally, my video that I made, I really didn't agree with it either. She's not old enough to be doing a, to do a TikTok video talking about I'm in love with an emo girl. She had lipstick on. Obviously, her mother co-signed this or what have you. So, yes, for Kanye to be ranting about that. Well, not ranting. For Kanye to be complaining about that. I was 100% with him. That's probably the only thing that I've agreed with Kanye with so far. But then it didn't stop there. Now, I did not agree with how Kanye continuously handles this ordeal. You need to go talk to Kim in private. If you have to hire a lawyer and get a court officer, a child officer, whatever. But you need to come off of social media, dude. It's not working. It's actually making things worse for you. So... Then Kanye puts out a series of videos after that, stating he spoke to Kim. He told Kim he does not want North on social media. Uh, basically, he's saying that Kim is doing this to taunt him, right? She's using that to taunt him. Um, you know, her not going to social media. Once he said he went on social media, she's putting him on social media for on purpose. Then he's saying that she was canceling. She canceled North coming to Sunday service. He said that, you know, every time it's time for his kids to come to a Sunday service, there's some sort of excuse. And he rearranges different services in order for them to come. And he basically says, Kim calls them or sends a note and says, they're not, you know, North is going to be there, what have you. I'll get to you. I'll get to my theories about North in a minute. So he's stating that. I'm not going to let Hulu and Disney control my children and stuff like that, right? So after that, he makes that, he gets that um that message. He's saying the things about, you know, Kim, he's not going to allow. I have a say. I'm not going to allow my daughter to be on TikTok. And then he said, D.L. Yuli, because if you remember, D.L. Yuli made a comment about Kanye to Vlad TV. He then calls out D.L. Uli and says, D.L. Uli, don't speak on my children. You know, nobody wants to listen to a broke pawn. You're a pawn for the for the leftists. And don't speak on my children because I can afford to have you hurt. So Kanye put out a physical threat on social media. And this is where I just can't get with Kanye West. Why do you constantly make these stupid moves? Put out a physical threat on social media and said, because I can afford to have you hurt. Okay. Van Latham then comes back and says he spoke to D.L. Uli. D.L. Uli is not taking threats on his life and his family's life lightly. So Kanye West will be hearing from him and... Uh, he said he'll be making a statement later on. Okay, so then we got into that. Kanye then puts out a post. Oh, DL, like he was Googling Dale Yuli. Oh, he lives in Calabasas. Oh, God is good. <laughs> so then everything with Pete Davidson blows up. All right. I guess Kanye earlier sent a picture to Pete Davidson, like it was like a drawing picture of a of a penis. Pete Davidson then responds through another person named Ben somebody, and they, he says, Hey, it's Skeet. Basically, I'm I'm you know I'm I'm paraphrasing. You can see the uh tweets you know up on the screen. Basically saying, listen, you know, you really need to stop doing what you're doing. 
Kim is the best mother I've ever met. You should stop handling your business in public. You know, you have been dragging me. And he said something. He said, did effing grow up? So Kanye says, oh, you're using profanity? Where are you at right now? And then he said, in bed with your wife. And then he tweets him a picture of him with his tongue out, laying with his shirt off in the bed. Now, that I didn't agree for Pete Davidson doing. We'll get to that as well. Because Pete Davidson has a habit of doing this. And I'll tell you what I mean. So that he shouldn't have said, in bed with your wife. Because number one, I thought she wasn't his wife anymore. So why are you saying and he's don't saying in bed with his with your wife to be petty to try to trigger Kanye? So that was wrong on Keith Davidson's part, and he's meant on uh, Pete Davidson's part, and he's been known to do that. Okay, so when he says, "Oh," and, and then Pete says, "Listen, I've been quiet for too long. You know, I let you talk like s, s to me. You know, and then he keeps saying." You know, I can help you. You know, I have, I struggle with mental stuff too. What have you? Kanye said something about, I'm glad to see you out of rehab. And, and, and he was like, yeah, same here. And he's like, yo, you know, let's come together. If you want to, I'll be at the, you know, I don't, I don't want to see, um, my girl's, um, ex-husband looking bad out here. My girl's kid's father looking bad out here. He said, let's meet up. I'll be at the Beverly Hills Hilton. Let's have a drink, some food. We can talk it over man to man because basically this ain't it. And he's like, bro, you don't scare me. Now, I told you all about Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson family is in, has Staten Island blood, mafia bloodlines in his family, allegedly. Staten Island. That's the Staten Island mafia. And there's nothing in Staten Island except white mafia people, right, in Staten Island. Allegedly, he has mafia uh, mob ties, allegedly. That's why he's never sweating Kanye. Now he's to the point where he's starting to get fed up and he's saying, dude, I, I have, have um, you know, told SNL not to do skits about you because they wanted to. I I didn't want, you know, my girl's ex-husband to look bad. And he was basically saying, you don't know how nice I've been, even though you treat me like S. He said, but if you keep pressing me the way you've been doing the last six months, I will no longer be nice. Kanye then says, oh, you're welcome to come to Sunday service. I don't know what the heck that means. That's what he said. And Pete's basically saying, listen, I don't want to come to those Sunday service. We can do this after Sunday service at Saints game. You know, we can meet up. We can talk man to man, you know, man up for once in your life. You know, and Kanye saying, if you see me, it's going to be at, at Sunday service and nothing else. So Pete just basically said, listen, my offer still stands. I could definitely help you with that mental stuff. I've struggled with it myself. He said, my offer stands, but that's the way it's going to be. Right? So Kanye is making videos talking about if you're in, if he's in bed with my wife, then who's watching my children? I mean, you know, just a bunch of extra stuff like who's watching my children if he's in bed with my wife. I mean, the nanny who watches them any other time. Who watches them when you're in bed and then when you're in bed with her? <laughs> you know, so Kanye is just seeming a little salty that Pete is finally and calls himself Skeet, going right along with it, seems to be, you know, fighting fire with fire and basically telling him, I'm not scared of you. All the stuff that you do, I'm not scared of you. And, you know, I'm in bed with your wife while you while you're back there trying to make jokes about me. And but I'm in bed with your wife, right? So, which I wish he didn't say. Now, the reason why I say that Pete Davidson has a habit of this is because Karen Civil actually can, you know, co signed what I'm saying. Remember, I told you all the story about Pete Davidson and Ponytail when they broke up. And then Karen Civil just ran back the story that I told y'all, you know, over a year ago that Pete Davidson sent Matt Miller 
pictures of Ariana Grande, intimate pictures of Ariana Grande. He knew Mac Miller was trying to get back with Ariana, right? Mac Miller wanted Ariana Grande back. Pete Davidson sent him behind Ariana Grande's back intimate pictures of him and Ariana Grande. And Ariana Grande, some pictures by herself. And a lot of people think that really pushed Mac Miller over the edge. You know, you know, there's a lot of people who are saying that they believe that Mac Miller purposely overdosed after he received those pictures from Pete Davis. A lot of people don't know that. But that's the things that I was hearing. So Karen Civil basically said, I'm team saying I'm team yay by that because you know Karen Civil and Matt Miller were close. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So Cameron Sybil basically was saying this is a pattern. So Pete Davidson, to me, his mistake was, I understand he wants to talk now. His mistake was saying, I'm in bed with your wife. Just say I'm in bed with Kim because Kim was fighting and fighting and fighting to not to be Kanye's wife, although she was single. So by him saying, be in bed with your wife, seemed he was just trying to be petty. So... You know, D.L. Uli responded back. They're going back and forth with Kanye. He's basically saying, you know, Kanye, if you got so many goons. It's funny you have so many goons to come beat me up, but none of them will stop at CVS and, and fill your prescription. And Kanye just opened up a can of worms when he talked about stand-up comedians because they do this for a living. And it's just a big mess. And someone's going to get hurt. Pete Davidson said that in his messages. Man, you're making it very dangerous for your family. Now, I like the way Pete Davidson was talking. But like, I just didn't like the tweeting the picture laying in Kim's bed because he knew that was going to trigger Kanye. But Kanye West, you need to, and he's telling them, I beg you, man, please, let's handle this in private. Let's handle this in private like men. Don't do this to your kids. Your kids are going to end up resenting you. That's what he's telling you. And didn't I say that before? So let me know what you think. Like I said, I agree with Kanye as far as North goes because I would never let my daughter go and have any social media account. However, I don't agree the way Kanye has handled it. And I told you, you better, he better leave Pete he skied alone. <laughs> And as far as D.L. Uli, D.L. Uli is a black man. I don't care what Kanye West says, whether he's a Republican, Democrat, he's a black man. And you should stop dragging these black men. Period. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends.